Starting with some upstate made products. Be Well Honey is a family owned business in Pickens. And we're delighted to have Carrie Owen here to tell us more about their products. Thank you so much for being here, Carrie. Oh, absolutely. An Glad old to be friend here. of mine. Oh, a really Back old friend. <laughs> but we love you just the same, right? That's right. It's too bad I don't have a room full of bees uh, again the to last, put you in. <laughs> the last time I went out uh, to uh, Be Well, I was literally in the where all the bees were. I walked in without a suit. That was dumb. I don't. Why did Why did I do that again? It was well, a dare or something. You wanted to be as involved as you could get, and the only way I knew to do it, well, I told you before I opened the door what it was going to be, but right. you didn't really believe me. I wanted a good TV, the things we do for good TV. <laughs> I should have been wearing one of these these little things. I'm going I'm to make up for it and wear it during this segment. So, Well, I think you only got stunned once. It was right? only once, like on, <laughs> over here. So out of all that, it's great. Um, you guys do really great work. Everyone who's ever seen these products and tried them, loved them. I have some on my desk upstairs. Uh, tell us how you guys got into this and some of the, the different products you, you sell. Well, basically, you know, back when the corporate downsizing was taking place, I lost my job. Mm -hmm. And so I was one of those guys that was actually looking for something to do. And I had a farming background. Um, and so I kind of fell back on the farming background, started beekeeping. And one hive turned into 2,000, <laughs> and here we are today. And now you said you guys just had a big uh, conference where you were presenting on uh, education and things about bees. So That's right. It's the Be Well Honey Farm 2015 South Carolina State Beekeepers Association Conference. It's, that's a mouthful, but that's basically right. that means you're spreading the knowledge of, of bees, right. the importance they are to our environment, and of course, we, we get the benefits with the honey and things like that. So That's right. We bring in speakers from all over the state talk about the problem and the plight of the honeybee mm -hmm. and how that we can become better beekeepers and how we can also give back to the community right. by educating others how to be. I love beekeepers. that sustainability aspect of, exactly. of everything. And uh, So take us through some of the products you have. You, um, you of course, have the, the honey that, that you guys um, make over there and you, you have the bees making that. But you also have gifts and different beauty products and stuff like that. Well, naturally, it all began with the beehive. Mm -hmm. And so... We, our first product was honey, mm -hmm. and we started bottling honey and uh, had a little honor system at the end of the driveway, and people would come and drop money in a box and take a quart home. Yeah. Well, that kind of grew. And <laughs> it's so good, and that's why it grew, because the product was so good. <laughs> yeah, it grew, and now we're in over 400 stores in the southeast, you know, the, to name a few, Whole Foods. Mass General, the Fresh Market, Garner's Natural Market. Which is a big deal. Yeah, and all of the local guys, the produce stands, you know, the people that really helped us get started. Mm -hmm. And then we started selling bee supplies, and we were making those bee supplies at the time. And we started selling so much that so we... So people can learn to beekeep on their own. That's right. <laughs> and so we farmed it out, and now we have a full line of beekeeping supplies, a full line of beauty products. I love this. I mean, we have, what, what do we have here? Like peppermint magic, aloe, and olive oil from Be Well Beauty. That's castle <laughs> soap. But we have a milk and honey lotion and some facial cleansers and things like that made with our honey. Uh, we have bath salts. So we just continue really cool. growing. Some gifts over here. <laughs> Anybody you know in your family needs, uh, I'm put it back there, a little queen bee. Queen bee. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we have the queen bees. We have we have candles and anything related to beekeeping. We have, and then we also have our natural market, which you've seen before. Right, right in Pickens. Um, That's right. Right down 205 Hampton Avenue in Pickens. You guys also have a great website that has all the information if people want to keep up with where those stores are. It's be well, so many. <laughs> BeWellHoneyFarm.com. And our store is located right at the beginning of the new Doodle Trail. Yes. The new bike trail there in Pickens. So go doodling and go see. That's Carrie exactly and right. And Swing goes. by. We have a gourmet coffee for you too while you shop. So we'd encourage everyone. And they're to good come by. people too. You feel great about supporting businesses that are just really good people. BeWellHoneyFarm.com. Uh, Carrie, good to see you again. Absolutely. Under better circumstances when I'm not getting stung, but <laughs> we appreciate it. Come back and see us soon. All right, thanks a lot. Yep. Later in Studio 62, the local queue is in today's Daily Dish, getting ready for a big foodie competition. We'll meet the chef going into battle. But next, the Rocky Horror Picture Show is playing at a local theater. We have all the show info and some free tickets to give away, and I'm going to play a little game of dress-up next. <laughs>